Where's Jack? Uh, he went over to Kelly's to pick up some, some food. He, he thought this might be an occasion to celebrate. Uh, judging by the, the look on your face, I, I guess he was wrong. They're not satisfied, Grant. <sighs> no, no, of course they're not satisfied. I could go on in perpetuity and that group would never be satisfied. Look, give them a break. They're at least checking into it. You sure that Toporov is definitely back in the homeland? For some time. And, and what about Mivich? Well, the computer's coughed up some rather disturbing news about him. We're double-checking its authenticity. Well, when you say rather disturbing... Well, uh, look, let's hang in there, all right? Shouldn't be much longer. <sighs> yeah. Uh, damn, I should have my mouth shut. I knew that this was going to happen, Robert. I knew it was going to happen. Nothing is enough. Nothing is ever going to be enough. What? What happened? They don't like what I told them. Robert, we're looking into it. Well, uh, so they don't like it. So what? They wanted you to tell them what you know. You told them what you know. That's how you're going to get out of here. Yeah, well, first they have to believe that what I told them is all I know. Don't you worry about it. I'll make them believe it. It's not just them, Jake. They all have to believe it. When did you realize you could never be Andre Chernin again? I'm still in the process of realizing it, Jake. Every day I wake up and I... I have to think about who I really am. You can't just suddenly... forget about one and become the other. No matter how hard you try, that other presence is always there reminding you. Well, if any of those guys think there's any loyalty at all towards Andre Chernin, we're dead. No. No, I'm dead. You go on to your next case. All right, the initial information has turned out to be correct. We checked it and double-checked it. This guy, Mivich, uh, who secured your initial implantation here, has turned out to be conveniently dead. How do you know? Yes, how do you know? As you must realize, the DVX also often... Yeah, I know. It. I know. It was my first assumption, too. But? Mivich was killed while on another mission, as it turns out, by a WSB agent. The ID is positive, and he was buried on American soil. The man was Mivich. Two down. Yeah. Two down. That leaves only Fletcher. Good old Ralph Fletcher. An agent who's probably no higher in rank than I. Just another peon who probably doesn't know as much as I do. Now well, that does it, Jake. That uh, pretty well clinches it. Just as I told you, I'm dead. Uh, no alias. Real name's Fletcher. We're picking him up now. Are we sure we've got the right Fletcher? Oh, yeah, positive. We've traced his every step since he left South America. He's DVX, all right, but... Uh, we don't have anything on him. His name's not in the file. It usually means that he's a... that he's a lesser agent. Maybe even a raw recruit. That yeah, doesn't look like he's going to do much for us. Guess our decision's made, then. No, it isn't. Not till we dig deeper. To find why Mirich was truly dead, we've got to talk to this Fletcher first. No, but Robert, his name isn't on our file. You know what that means? Yeah, yeah, I know what it means. Maybe too insignificant to worry about. Perhaps uh, too big to be on our files. This guy could be a gold mine. Seems unlikely to me, considering the nature of his relationship with Grant. Small potatoes again. Well, look, the least we can do is just hang out till we uh, make a decision on this. All right, all right, fine. I just hope we're not wasting all of our time on this. But, Robert, do you really think that he's, uh, he's given us the whole truth? Yes, I do. Why, the man's an enemy agent. You were on the field too long to believe anything the enemy says, Robert. It's not what he says, it's what he's done. He saved my wife, a close friend, and he's turned in the disc. A partner, he's also turned in everybody else to do with this caper. Look, if that doesn't signify some kind of loyalty, I don't know what does. I would agree with you, Robert, if the names that he mentioned meant anything. One dead. One so small he's not even on the record books. One back in the motherland. I think that if we're going to get out of this thing with any respect at all, we better move for immediate prosecution. I agree. Ted? I don't know. I'm not sure. 
Maybe Robert has a point about Fletcher. Maybe he is more than he seems. This is unbelievable. You two are actually defending Chen. Look, the guy has a right to prove his innocence. Why? Did he give Gerald any rights when he was plotting to kill him? Did he stop them from sending back the crucial half of the microfilm to the DVX? No, he didn't do anything until he realized he was going to have to save his own life. Any cooperation that we are seeing here is obviously just for show. Well, you may well be right, but we're going to wait anyway. Until when? Until Fletcher is questioned, until we come up with something definite. It's a waste of time. Yes, and so is your arguing. All right. May I suggest we all relax? We're stuck with each other for a while. We might as well make a stab at civility. All right. All right, but this is it. If Fletcher doesn't work out, churn and fries. Agreed? Agreed. Huh? The arrest has been made. Where? Fletcher's home. They're interrogating him now. First report is he may be just a courier. Courier? What the hell good is that? However, nothing is verified. We won't know anything definite until tomorrow morning. So, may I suggest, gentlemen, that we all go home and get some sleep? There isn't a hell of a lot left to this night, but there is a little bit. Yeah, my wife will certainly appreciate that. <laughs> we'll decide what to do tomorrow when we're fresher. Fine. But I call it a good con job. I mean, if Grant were loyal, he wouldn't have batted an eye and about naming those names. Look, I think we've got a spot of confusion here. The guy is torn between two loyalties, and he can't yield to either. Hmm. Then how do you explain what's happened now? I mean, three virtually useless names. I can't explain it. Nobody can. I can. Andre Chernin is a DVX spy. He was when he came into this town. He is still. He probably always will be. Good night, gentlemen. <laughs>